it's Saturday afternoon and the forecast looks good, so why not take some pictures of deep space? So here we are set up in the backyard again for a night of deep space astrophotography. Tonight is exciting because I'll be going after a target I have never photographed before, the California Nebula. Now this target gets its name from its striking resemblance to the US state of California. That's a very similar shape. It is located in the constellation Perseus and emits very strongly in the hydrogen alpha wavelength of light, 656 nanometers on the visible spectrum. So once again, I'll be using the Optolong L Ultimate filter in my imaging system to try and isolate these gases in my photos. However, for this project and this final image, I'll be using an approach I haven't used before. I'll be making a composite image with both dual narrowband and RGB exposures in it. Earlier this week, I captured some data on the California Nebula using my Optolong L Pro filter, a broadband RGB filter. The idea behind this approach is to try and get the best of both worlds in my final image. The Optolong L Ultimate is great at producing punchy details and really separating the gases from the background sky, but what happens is you lose those natural star colors and also the sky can kind of have a green tint to it. Now with an RGB filter, you can preserve those natural colors in the stars as well as the background sky, but you don't get quite as much contrast between the gases in the night sky. So what I'll do is I'll combine these two separate images, one duo narrowband and one RGB, and try and preserve the best qualities in each of them in one final product. I had always planned to process images in this way using my current setup, but this will be the first time I'm actually trying it, so wish me luck. The weather doesn't look too great right now. I'm sure you can see these clouds in the sky behind me, but according to my weather apps, it is supposed to clear up later tonight. So I'm gonna trust them and we're gonna get set up anyway. If you want to know one thing about me, it's I will never miss the opportunity to photograph under clear skies. One of the things I appreciate about my imaging equipment is the simplicity of the setup. I only own one telescope, one camera, and one mount, so I'm never really mixing and matching my equipment. What this means is my gear is always set up and ready to go at a moment's notice. I can just take it outside in one piece. I've also worked hard on the cable management, so between my power box and the ASI Air, I actually only have one cable that leaves the system. So after I place my equipment down, I simply plug in one power brick and I'm off and running. This is helpful, especially on cold New England winter nights, because I can have my equipment outside and set up in under five minutes. With the help of the ASI Air, the only process I actually need to be outside for is polar alignment. And then after that, I can control my deep space rig from inside the house. Now I like being outside and spending time under the stars, but sometimes it's just not practical when wind chills are in the single digits. Today I lucked out with the weather though. We actually got two inches of snow last night, but temperatures are back up in the 40s today, so most of it had melted away off of my deck. So I won't have to shovel it this time, but I'm sure you'll be seeing some of that in a future video. It's four o'clock now, and the forecast says the clouds will clear out around nine o'clock tonight, but I just wanted to make sure I got set up now so I can be ready to go at a moment's notice. So now we wait and we hope that our forecast is correct so we can get started on the California Nebula. So I'm back inside now and the clouds cleared out as promised. It was a good forecast. The rig is firing away doing 10 minute sub exposures on the California Nebula and Duo Narrowband. The combination of my ASI 2600 MC Pro camera and the William Optics Nightcap 51 telescope have proven to be very capable with large nebula targets like this. I was impressed with the details I saw in my first sub exposure and I'm really excited to get started on image processing tomorrow. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this RGB Duo Narrowband style processing. I want to take a quick moment to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for the amazing support you've shown me early on in this channel. It's really motivated me to continue creating these videos. I'm going to work hard on creating the best astrophotography content that's worthy of your free time, so thank you all so much. Now, let's get to the good stuff, the California Nebula. <laughs> 